Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nkoya and I'm also known as Ndi Naija. Ja, ja, ja. Hey friends, it's time for us to set up my May budget and May spending. And I think I have a little something that I've been working on also to show you guys. Typically when I do my budgeting, I review the things that I was supposed to do. I review my May or the previous month's budget and go through and make my lines. So I'm going to do that and I'll bring all this. I actually didn't need to open it. I forgot about that. Yeah, because I have the pages um, slit. So I've put the washi that I intend to use down. And now I just need to go through, write everything out, roll everything out. Well, write and roll. No, 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 no. Neither of those things. I just have to write it all out and get it done. So I'm going to fast forward this part and, yeah, set this to music. Okay, so I've done my basic setup of some of these pages, and I'm just going to put the categories in for my variable expenses. I have, I track my eating out, groceries, and household, and that's, let's see, one, gross and house, groke. <laughs> oh, this is funny. And then there's gas. Gas has been, man, gas has gone way down, like way down. It is, it's a lot. Health and hygiene, miscellaneous, and my totals. I don't think I was putting sinking fund tracking in here. No. I'm looking in my, in the April side of this. And I did not put sinking fund expenses in here. I did put what I was going to add to sinking funds in there. Okay. Put the things down. It has been a tough, tough year. Mm. I'm glad to be alive. I'm glad to be kicking. I'm glad. I'm glad for a lot of things. I'm also very, I wanted to say mad about stuff, stuff, but I don't feel like there's any need to put emotion behind some of the things that I'm experiencing. Honestly, I think I'm going to put my totals all the way down here. Since I didn't think <laughs> of ending the page before now 
Yeah, I just want to use the whole page. What do you guys think about me doing stickers for these pages? Because I'm, I'm over all of this. Yes, I love to draw, but I love to do technical drawing. Not this. Oh, I usually start with my bills. Oh, man. You know what? This is an, this is going to be a long video. I apologize, but it is what it is. Last month, well, this month, I did I budgeted 150 for eating out. I'm going to keep it to the same amount. My groceries and household was 650. I'm going to keep it at that amount. My gas was 200. I wonder if I should take it down to 250. I mean, take it up to 250. Our state or is opening back up oh I suspect that mm, well we'll see I suspect that June will be will be quite different but we'll see health and hygiene is still going to be fifty dollars um, and miscellaneous is still going to remain the same at a hundred dollars so that's going to be the variable expenses part now for my bills, 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 bills. I hope that is not a rap that I've heard somewhere. Because if it is, I'm going to... I am not singing anybody's actual song. I hope not. Date due. Amount due. Why isn't this sticker sticking to the... Can you see this? Why isn't it sticking to the washi? What is what what is that? Anywho, amount no auto amount date do the actual amount I pay, whether or not I have paid it and notes. This is why people buy these stickers, because it's already written down and you just put it down. I on the other hand might want to what might I want to do? I might want to do a sticker. I'll still need to draw these lines anyway because I'm a line person. Or I could make a spreadsheet. I could. We'll, we'll think about that. We'll think about that. So bills that are due on the 1st. We have insurance due. I'm, I'm not sure if this Taekwondo. So I paid in April. I could. A bunch of things have moved around and changed. Some of the things which I... Some of the things I said earlier that I was like, eh, I don't even want to put any emotion to it. I've just, I've just, I've been dealing with some stuff, y'all, on the personal side. I have been. And I'm determined to praise my way through it. So I'm not going to put emotion behind it. Let's see. Mortgage. That's an auto payment. So this one is a question, and I actually need to use my yellow highlighter. The plan is to call them at the end of the month to say, hey, can I cancel? And maybe we'll start back in June. And it, There's just so much up in the air, and I'm just trying to nail things down. But it is an auto payment. And part of the reason I'm trying to nail it down, home warranty, that's not there anymore. CPS, yes, CPS, they always want their money. Um, Tyler, I don't have a particular day for paying that. Mortgage is due on the 2nd. Electric bill is due on the 2nd. Cell phone, is that one an auto? No. Cell phone is an auto payment. It's due on the 3rd. And that is 129. Mm, let's see. Dental insurance has been paid up through the year. This one is 174, 175? Why have I forgotten the amount? This one is 159. I typically don't share my tithe and mortgage. CPS Electric. This month, I'm going to pay the $85 that I averaged out that I was going to be paying every single month. Um, because we've been in the colder parts of the year well up until last month basically because april has been up and down and up and down and up and down because of that um 
my bill last month, let's see, it was negative $2.51. Yes, negative, because I overpaid for the first three months of the year. But when I saw that negative two fifty one, I was like, oh, by the time the April bill comes in or the May bill comes in, I would have, you know, surpassed that. Oh, but I don't remember what I paid in April. See, anywho, we'll see that in the closeout video. I like to do a closeout at the end of the month to see the difference between what I budgeted and what I actually do. And that's a great thing for, it's a great tip for budgeting. I know you, a lot of you guys know that. So cell phone, then we tend to use water from time to time, you know, for like showering and such. This is... An auto payment, I think it's about $65 because we have been home. We've been home. This other bill, I'm not sure if it'll come out or not. It's an auto bill. It's uh, the IRS. I filed for my taxes via paper a while ago. And I haven't gotten my return. And I think I'm going to get a return this time around. Subscriptions. Okay, um, that's, what did I say it was? Those are auto, it's not a hundred now. I think I brought it, I took it down, but I'm including things like Netflix, things that are in here. Netflix, Audible, and Simply Gilded and Oso Paper. That is it, that is it. I don't remember the exact amount, but I do know it's under a hundred dollars. I think I was able to shave off like 30 bucks from it, something like that. And then we have car insurance. Car insurance is a necessity, they say. Yep, it is a necessity. Apparently, I heard that I was, that they were reducing rates for everyone. I'm not sure of that. I have not seen the bill. The bill doesn't come until later in the new month so security is going to be per use at 80 did i have internet internet okay internet internet that's not an auto bill that is 60 dollars got you down got you down let's do on the 22nd this month and then we have my debts. Well, I'm putting the minimum amounts for my credit card and my car note. The funny thing is my car note still, my car note um, keeps going down. The, the amount due keeps going down as the principal goes down. I don't know how that happens, but I'm not going to take the bait and say, oh, because of this, I am not going to pay you guys um, what is the amount, the set amount every month. I, I, but anyhow, I don't know. So it's 273 now, not 277. That was last month. It's 273 now. Therapy. Yeah, this is a big one. I'm going to put, mm, if I'm able to take this off, then I can make this 300. And I pay every time that we go. So it's a almost a weekly thing now this month with all the, with all the trouble that's occurred. With all the trouble that's occurred. So we have bill savings, sinking funds. And I'm going to add variable expenses here. Just so I can have a total of what's in here. So this month, <laughs> see, I'm doing a lot of what we call tumbo tumbo. If, if this then this. If I'm able to move some money around, this is what you mean when you say you're moving money around, y'all. So move some money around. So if the IRS does not take this amount of a hundred dollars, then but I've already this is an auto payment anyway. But I have already 
said to the people, take out $318. And this is due on the 5th. So previously I was doing 185 and then I moved it up to 215 because I wasn't able to do the whole four, how much was it? 420, 425 in order to meet my savings goal for the year. But it's gradually increased. So let's say for three months I did 185. One month I did 215. The next month it's 315. Who knows? By next month, it could be 500. Yay! Calculate variable expenses. Stop talking. There's just too much talk. Hope you guys are enjoying this, though. How do you turn on the calculator? Let's add. If these numbers are the same as previous, then why add? Because why? It should be the same. 150 plus 650 plus 200 plus 50 plus 100. That brings us to 1150. I wonder though about this grocery bill, y'all, because ooh, 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 we're eating a lot. We're eating a lot, but I also did stockpile a lot, like way, way a lot. Also did stockpile. So that's it for bills and variable expenses. Next. I d typically don't do sinking funds in the budget setup video because this is the this is the um, this is the first of my budgeting videos for the month. The next one will be the cash envelope stuffing, and that's where the sinking funds page comes in. Next is debt. <laughs> How are we doing on debt? How are we doing on debt? So I was hoping that this that last month would be the last month of my um, paying the IRS taxes that were owed. I'm still not sure if it the whole thing has gone through yet. They have, was it six weeks? They have about six weeks to process my tax return. And they received it in March. So we sh six weeks should be right around the end of this month, you know, which is now, you know. But there's a chance that they will take the May payment. I'm I'm just I'm just not sure. So we will see. The IRS, the minimum payment is a hundred. The goal is zero. <laughs> Which is weird, I know. But the goal is zero because I hope this will be the final. And then there is the credit card and my car note. So my minimum is 273 here my minimum here is 62 my goal here is to pay 80 bucks was it 80 last month yes the goal here is the same as before 310 the next thing will be bill savings the goal as we saw before was and I should have written that as 315 it's three fifteen because my bank charges me a three dollar fee. So that's that one. The next page that we typically set up is online income. I will have some good news for you guys in my. Um, I'll have some good news for you in my closeout video for the month. So we, I typically do this. We have source. And I told myself, oh, I'm going to start writing this down so that I can get used to it. And lo and behold, lo and behold, yes, so I'm calling this out that this is going to be a regular part of my budgeting videos. Yay to multiple streams of income. Yay to multiple streams of income. I'm not going to write the budget and actual because I don't know. YouTube, Amazon. Oh, and by the way, I have restarted my Amazon affiliate. So I have a couple of links down in the description box for items that I use. Like, let's see, I think I have like my palette knife. I have a couple of EC 
items on there. I haven't been able to figure out how to do the whole Amazon store thing, but I've done the Amazon associate thing. So which means if you click on a link, um, that's if you click on one of those links, you will be supporting me. It won't change the price of your item, but they will sort of give me a small portion of it. I don't exactly know how it works, but I know that when you press the link, it tells them that yes, you want to you want to support me. Basically, it doesn't take anything away from you guys. So, I want to thank you for everyone who I'm thanking you in anticipation of you guys clicking on the links and then purchasing um, purchasing things. If you click on something, add to your cart and then go away. So add or then you check out. So tell me what you want what you guys would want me to link to. I can link to my mild liners, I can link to pens and such. I'll do all that until I figure out how to do the Amazon um how to do the Amazon store thing because with the Amazon store it's easier you just hit the link and it's one link you go to the store and you see all the items that I've recommended or made a list for so that's the basic budget for the month of May and now to show you guys um something I've been working on something I've been working on and I am I, I don't know I'm a little <laughs> when you have a new venture sometimes it's 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 hard to think can I really do this or am I just fooling myself but I've decided to stop talking to myself negatively about the things that about the ideas that I have and just put it out there and thank the Lord for whatever comes of it with that being said this is uh, my new we'll call it adventure I think um, this is a full sticker sheet and this is a sticker for a paycheck budget I've, I've been looking around and just just thinking of a couple of things and asking and recalling how I used to budget in the past and this was how I used to budget in the past. A lot of times you see people doing their budget and they have a little box here for fixed expenses and then there's variable expenses. You know, everybody does what works for them. You do what works for you. You do how your you do things how your brain works for you. Now my brain doesn't work in that way where everything is is split. It's 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 weird, but it sort of splits my splits my thinking. I like everything to be in a nice streamlined fashion. So when I was budgeting with a bi-weekly income, I would basically put it out like this. So let me give you guys an example. This is the example. So let's say we had an income of $4,000 and we were paid bi-weekly. Now I'm offering this for sale, right? I'm offering this for sale. Um, if you would like to purchase, you'd have to email me ndinaija at gmail.com. And I'm offering this for the low, low price of $2.50. And you're going to get a PDF of this file. Now, if you want the Excel file, it's going to be another $2.50. And that's it. And with the Excel file, what I will do for you is have the formulas for to make all of this necessary so you're, you'll have an income total here you'll have totals here and then this will be like a final final total I won't let you change this box well we'll see how that happens don't make threats before you can before you get or don't count your chickens before you have before they're hatched but I do hope you guys can support me that's kinda why I put this at the end of the video I didn't um, and I, I do hope you guys can support me. So email me, ask me if you can get the PDF, and then when you get it, all you do to, because it's not going to be sized seven by nine. This is a full sheet, but this here will fit on an Erin Condren sheet because that is what I use in my planner. It will also fit a, um, it will also fit in a Happy Planner, but. 
that's neither here nor there. That is neither here nor there. So when you get this printed out, all you'll have to do is... And dear Lord, I hope I'm not... Okay, I'm not. <laughs> Eventually... No, I don't plan... This is going to be a digital product. I don't plan... Well, that didn't go well. This is going to be a digital product. I don't plan on making stickers that I would have to ship because I just do not have a schedule that will permit that to happen. I'm, I'm just, I'm very, very busy. And there's so much of life that's going on that I'm unable to go to the post office at the times that I personally would want to. But anyway, I'm just going to explain to you guys how this works. And hopefully you like it and send me a message and say, hey, send me that file. I want to set up my budget this way. Because I, I told you guys about how I don't want to um, keep writing and drawing. First of all, where's the page that I'm going to put this on? Let's bring that first, shall we? Yeah, let's, let's, let's do just that. I'm looking for an empty page. Aha. So this is how it works with my sticker paper. And then we will just put this over here. And this particular st sticker paper that I'm using is, and I should have whited this out. This sticker paper is off-white but you can use whatever sticker paper you have as necessary so this is basically a full sheet well that's down now so it's not gonna come off anywho so you print it full size and then you slice it to get this part out so let's say this person had an income of four thousand dollars you paid your tithe your bi-weekly income then would be two thousand and here would be two thousand dollars which would make your total four thousand which is that except if you had let's say you had three hundred and fifty dollars coming in every month from somewhere in that case your total would be four three fifty and this would be maybe half of that or you if you expect this amount to come in at one time this is 2000 and then this is 2350 you guys understand how what i'm doing right so you pay your tithe you would pay $200 if you're paying 1/10th you would pay 235 in here rent or mortgage let's say that this paycheck comes in at the end of the month so it comes in April 30th or May 31st whenever it comes in and you have to figure out which of your bills you're going to use it you're going to use it to pay I think I need to add a couple more bills let's add daycare let's add daycare let's add swim class even though no one's going there let's add therapy let's add your groceries because you need to figure out how you're going to do the things that you need to. Let's add your cell phone. Eating out. Um, let's see. Haircut. Personal stuff. And we haven't had a gas entry. What else will we need to add? Eating out, groceries and household gas personal and then let's add miscellaneous so you have all all of these things um, and this is where you would put each of these to figure out where which one goes now if I were using this I would write the total amount in brackets here so let's let's say your rent was nine hundred dollars right you can choose which paycheck you would write you would pay the nine hundred dollars out of so if it's the first one you'd have your tithe there then you have nine hundred dollars while you're while you're doing this you have four two thousand 
you have your calculator next to you, or if you buy the Excel file, you'll see the total down here at Im immediately. 2,000 minus 200 minus 900. You're left with $900. So you're going to figure out if you're going to allocate all $900 into these amounts or if you're going to shift it over to your second paycheck, which is why people tell you when you're budgeting, you need to optimize your bills and request the dates that are conducive to your pay schedule. Very easy to ask. So let's say your electricity bill was $100 and you said, I want to pay it with my second paycheck. Water and sewer, call it 50 bucks. You want to pay that with your first paycheck. Now you're left with $850. Cable and internet, uh, it's a little high, it's $250. Please don't have your cable and internet be $250. So it's $250. I feel like you still have you still have space there. But you know what? We're going to we're going to double calc this, right? We're going to have the first paycheck here and the second paycheck here. First paycheck or second paycheck, 2350 minus $100 minus 250. Right now you have $2000 left on your second paycheck, but you have 850 on your first paycheck. Now personally, I would say split your daycare Let's say your daycare was 350. Split your daycare across. Say you pay 100 here and 250 here. Swim class, put the $50, however much it is. Your therapy, put the 200 over here. And then you have enough money, that's minus 750, nope, plus 650. You have 750 left. You have your groceries, and this is where you can split your groceries. Now, at my grocery budget this month was what, six fifty? So let's say I have groceries. We'll call it seven hundred, or we'll call it six hundred. So groceries. I'm going to take three hundred dollars from each paycheck to do my groceries. So we had that amount. Did we get the daycare? I'm not sure. Let's see. Answer. Ah, we've come to the we've come back now to this calculator. Answer minus fifty. I should know. Okay, so it was two thousand. Two three fifty that 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 that. I think we were right about here. But basically you can see see how this works. And I'm going to do this again. Twenty three fifty minus two thirty five minus one hundred minus 250 minus 250 minus 50 minus 200 minus 300 you're left with 965 dollars on your second paycheck with the first paycheck you have 2000 minus 200 minus 900 minus 50 minus 100 minus 300 so you have 450 dollars that you can choose to allocate towards these items you can say you're going to um, spend a hundred dollars eating out this pay period a hundred dollars eating out the next pay period you're going to have fifty dollars for your personal items this pay period and you're going to have a hundred dollars uh, for personal items that pay period same with gas $100 this pay period, $100 that pay period. So you can put it wherever you want, but with this, you can balance things out and see how you've done. So if you've spent all this, what you're left with at the end, 2000 minus all of these is what your remaining is. 2000 minus 900 minus 50 minus 100 minus 300 minus 100 minus 50 minus 100 you are left with four hundred dollars in for this paycheck you can choose whatever you want to do with it you can put it in savings you can uh, roll it over or you can spend it please don't spend it no just <laughs> i don't know why i said that save it 
use it as rollover, use it to pay debt. But with the with this type of budgeting, you can very easily see what you're left with depending on how you guys are paid. So that's it. That is my newest venture, my latest experiment. I hope you will support me in this. So that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate you. And um, if you've watched this long, thank you. And I hope you can send me an email and say, hey, send me the paycheck budget. Send me your paycheck budget. This this works for me because I can see what I did. And now with the total here, let me just give you an example. You would total it this way and you have 435. This column will show you if everything you've done on each row is correct. So at the end of it, what is here should match what you have as your total. So your rent, you've paid 900. Electricity, you've paid 100. Water, you've paid 50. Cable and internet, you've paid 250. Daycare, you've paid 350. So you see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support, all your prayers, and your watch time, and your watching the ads. Thank you very much. I hope you have a great and happy May. And I pray that we all come out of this better than we went in. Take care of yourself. Be kind to yourself. Please be gentle with yourself. It's a, ve it's a tough time. So be gentle with yourself. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.